Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is this week's plan with me. Um, last week we did July 3rd through 9th and we had a very pretty, it's kind of more of a spring kit, but I thought it was pretty cute so I wanted to use it. This week is July 10th through 16th and we will be using an old Scribble Prints monthly. Uh, it comes with a little bit of the glitter um, extras. These ones are just old. They don't have a lot of them. I know I have more of the glitters and I may bring in more later, but I'm not sure yet. All oh, these have been chewed on. It's lovely. Uh, it comes with some little scribblers and some extra fashion girls as well as extra bottom washi. And then here's the actual kit. And as you can see, maybe, can you see? My cat chewed on them because he likes plastic and they're covered in plastic originally. So we have kind of a pool party theme going here. This is an older kit, but it should still work. Um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this still works for what I need. Um, I don't plan the same as I used to a few years ago. Oh my goodness gracious, this stinking cat. <laughs> But I think that this week wasn't super, super, super busy, so we should be able to make it work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start the plan, the voiceover portion of the plan with me now, and I will talk to you guys soon. Hi, guys. So um, first things first, the, the book I was listening to while I was doing this was Hook, Line, and Sinker. And maybe I should have listen to a worse book because the second thing I have to say is a big giant whoops. So I, you see me here in the planner. I'm supposed to be planning for the week of um, July 10th through 16th. I, that's not, that's not what I did. I somehow managed to mess up my, um, the planner that I plan in. Like my daily stuff goes into two it goes into one planner and then I do um, these off of the one that my daily planner, which if you've been with me for a while, you probably already knew that. Um, I messed up. This is the wrong week. So this is not the week of the tenth through the sixteenth. Uh, it is actually the week of the seventeenth through the twenty second. Um, so being tired and planning while you're sick probably is not the best option for me because I messed this up. Um, I don't know what's up, but anyways, and on top of that, uh, this camera kind of sucks. That's why I got a new camera for my, um, book and vlogging content is because this one will turn off after 20 minutes. And it will warn you by giving a tiny little beep. But because there's so many people in my house, I had my headphones on. I didn't hear the beep. And it completely messed up this plan with me. So, uh, luckily, it's not... I almost... I would have scrapped it if it was any worse than it is. Uh, but... So, you miss like three days worth of planning when I mess it up. So, hopefully, we'll be able to keep on track and not have a big issue because that would suck and I would be sad. <laughs> um, but anyways, so welcome to the voiceover portion of this plan with me. Woo! Um, there hasn't been a ton going on this week. This weekend, I would, sorry, this is late. This weekend was kind of a crapshoot. Um, I actually got a couple of shifts this weekend, which was wonderful, but because I was doing like double duty and doing a couple of shifts per day, I was extremely tired. And then yesterday somehow I'm like, okay, so Saturday and Sunday were kind of crap. So I will get this done on Monday morning and get it done, get it up a little bit late on Monday. Instead, I completely forgot. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I woke up with this massive crick in my neck and I was on book mode and I was thinking about the stuff that I needed to do for 
um, I'm doing a reorganization of my bookshelves and I was thinking about what stuff I needed to do for the reorganization and I took my daughter to work and I just did all this other like normal, you know, everyday stuff and completely forgot to do my voiceover until like 10 o'clock last night when my dog decided to vomit all over my floor. So needless to say, nothing got done yesterday. Um, I didn't get any editing done. I didn't get any voiceovers done. I didn't get nothing done, which kind of sucks because I do need to finish editing my video for tomorrow as well. So this is going to go up today as soon as I'm done. Um, I'm hoping it'll be up by noon. I do have some errands to run today, but I naturally woke up early because I knew that I needed to get this done before I left because I wanted to make sure that they were in on time. Look, I'm putting down the wrong dates. I can't believe I did that. And if I had noticed that I had prepped for the wrong date, I could have easily just done two weeks and put up the correct week today. But no, I completely messed that up. I didn't do the planning itself when I was sick, but I did all the pre-planning when I was sick. And so I had everything set up where... I had this little sheet full of all the little stickers that I'm going to need because now that I'm uh, planning on an actual desk, um, I need to have things pre-prepped or I will completely mess it up. My cat's coming. If you can hear her, I don't know what she wants. She's been fed and watered. Oh, do you want love? Oh yeah. This is my kitty. Her name is Alice. She's six years old. She's a little chonky. I don't know if you've ever seen her on my channel. I know Jeffrey hangs out and I know that um, Sammy hangs out. So you have one of my cats and my dog. But I do have three cats. And this one's name is Alice. She is a American short haired tiger kitty, I guess is what you call her. She's very loud and very obnoxious and really, really likes to make sure that you're paying attention to her. So that, yeah, this kind of derailed my whole conversation about what we were doing here, but whatever. Sometimes life gets in the way and kitty cats are cute. Yay. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> sorry, she's really, really just completely derailed me. I have literally no idea what we're talking about. But she's so cute. She just had a birthday. She just turned six. I gotta get pet insurance for her. If you guys know of any good pet insurance companies, I think we're gonna do nationwide for my older two cats. Um, because for some reason, nationwide gets cheaper as they get older. And so for my older two cats together, it's gonna be like $46. But on the flip side, for Alice alone, it's going to be like $64. And then um, Sammy's going to be like $200 or something crazy like that because he's a dog. And he's just beyond puppy years. He's three. So if you guys have any good options for other um, pet insurance companies, let me know. Because I need to start getting them into the doctor now that they're getting older on a regular basis and I want pet insurance just in case something pops up because I mean they're older cats of course something's gonna be, is bound to pop up eventually so yeah um anyways back to planning purposes um this has been a kind of an interesting week I was just re-listening to a little bit because I started to yawn because I'm tired I can feel another one coming on Try to suppress the yawn. Suppress the yawn. I still sound sick. It's wonderful to know that it's been like two weeks and I still sound sick. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe my COVID test was, I know it was kind of on the old side. Um, and I'm wondering if maybe it was inaccurate that maybe I did have COVID again. Because what kind of illness has this all these symptoms and lasts for as long as this one's lasting? It's terrible. Terrible. I have like no energy still, even though I feel fine. Um, I still sound a little raspy, but 
I don't feel bad at all. My throat doesn't hurt anymore. I'm not coughing like crazy anymore. I'm not sneezing like crazy anymore. I don't have the slight fever, headaches, chills, that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping I'm better. I just, I hate the fact that I still don't feel up to par. But, um, I'm doing okay though. That's just good, right? I had a couple of shifts this weekend. Uh, the last month or so has been really, really terrible for Amazon. There just isn't any shifts. And when they do have shifts, they're horribly priced. So, um, it was nice to be able to get a couple of shifts over the weekend that weren't terribly priced. I'll get paid for them today because yesterday was a holiday. I really, really wanted to go to the Blackberry Festival that our city was hosting this weekend. But guess what? I forgot to do that too. Oi, brain power is not working great. So I went through all of my stickers and I was trying to figure out what to use for this week. And uh, my daughter's like, that one's ugly. <laughs> and Shauna goes, that one's pretty. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, is it ugly or is it pretty? And they could not agree. So um, I ended up using it because I've noticed that even some of the kits that I'm not overly fond of, I end up really liking once they're put down. If I love the kit, before it's put down, I'm going to adore it put down. If the kit is okay before I put it down, it's really cute once it's put down. So this one ended up being a really cute kit, which I appreciated. It is an old scribble prints. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Subscription uh, that I've had for years. So I looked back and I found subscription um, kits all the way back to like 2015 or something and because they make the um kits so much differently these days than they did back then I can't use some of my old kits in my current like this planner so I use them in my other planner um right now I'm using I'm still going off of the always booked that I was using, but the stickers that don't fit in it and it was driving me nuts. So now I'm using one of the new ones I just got, um, which the name of it escapes me at the moment. Uh, but I'm using one of the new ones that I got and it works okay, but the stickers don't fit correctly in it. It's too, th the uh, boxes are too narrow and too long. Um, I read somewhere or someone told me in one of the groups that I'm in, cause I was asking about sticker, I was asking about sticker placement for certain planners. And one of them said that, um, trying not to yawn, sorry. Uh, one of them said that it fits the happy planner stickers really well, but I don't know about you, but most of the stickers that I have are all, I mean, I think they're all Aaron Condren, but most of the sticker companies that I get stuff from, they don't do happy planner stickers. They do Aaron Condren stickers. They'll do Hobonichi uh, stickers, but they don't do happy planner stickers. So the taste test for new planners will continue as soon as I have more money. Um, I made a tattoo appointment this weekend, so I'm going to be saving a tiny bit for the next month to get uh, a little more extra than I normally would um, to get a tattoo. So I don't know if the new planner is going to be coming, like if I'm going to be buying a new planner right away or not. I do want to try out the print impressions one. I'm just not sure when. And then there's another one that I really want to try. It's like, I don't remember what it's called, but it's, um, a daily, weekly, monthly planner. So you have a bunch of different options on it. So like one of them is you have the monthly layout that all these planners have plus the like horizontal or vertical, uh, weekly layout. And then you have a daily layout too. And I was thinking about maybe doing one of those for my journaling one, but I'm not sure right now because I haven't figured out how I want to do the journaling because the more that I look at the, um, the always fully booked like companion one that I got in my, my taste test, it doesn't fit quite right. And I, it's not going to work. So I need something that's got a bigger journaling area. And then it's got, I can do like the, um, 
the tarot readings too, and I haven't figured out which one's going to be best for that. And so I'm looking at one of those ones that's like a collab of a daily, weekly, and a monthly, but I haven't quite figured out how that's going to work just yet. Okay, so it looks like I'm starting on Monday. Um, this is pretty much the only day that is really going to show. What happened was, is I must have hit the 20 minute marker. It says only 15 minutes here, so I'm not sure what happened. I don't think it's going to take me another five minutes to put down one day, but it might because I'm going to put down the sidebar also. Uh, but I must have hit the 20 minute marker and turned off on me. And then my daughter came in to talk to me. And when my daughter came in to talk to me, instead of turning off my camera, I was turning on my camera. So you see nothing, but there was a bunch of background noise for me and her talking. And then, um, when we were done talking, I turned it back off again. And then I realized when I started, uh, Thursday that it was off, but I had no idea how long it had been off for. And it was off for all of Tuesday, all of Wednesday and the start of Thursday. So massive frustrations. And I was almost ready to be like, okay, I'm done. Not doing a plan with me this week. Like ready to go on to full temper tantrum mode in my head. But there was enough left where I was like, okay, I'm still going to play. I'm still going to do this one. I'm still going to plan the whole thing out. But I'm just going to tell you that I'm dumb. So that's your warning that I'm dumb. Um, I was trying to color block for a hot second here. It doesn't last beyond this Monday. So on Monday, um, I was having really bad insomnia issues. And so I put down one of the little exhausted teenies and just wrote down insomnia next to it because I figured that would be the most accurate depiction of how I was feeling on Monday. Um, I had the insomnia comes and goes. Sometimes it's like kicking my butt. Sometimes it doesn't affect me at all. I, it, so I wrote down that in my, the one that I write down for myself, uh, that I was asleep from, um, I slept at, so I was asleep at 5 a.m. up at 9 a.m. So I only slept for about four hours. Um, I also did some YouTube stuff. I did one of the plan with me's. I don't know if I was filming or editing, but it was one of those. And then I had a bunch of laundry to do that I had to wash and fold. Okay, so this uh, sticker here that I just put down, I end up not liking it there. So I end up moving it to the sidebar. I put in my steps and then some of my dinners. I... I've noticed that when it comes to doing my daily planning, I'll do it at the end of the night or before I go to bed. But if I've had a busy day, I just suck and I won't do it. Um, and then I completely mess up the, with the, what I do on here because I don't have meals for some of those days. And I don't know if I didn't eat, if I had girl dinner, which I had no idea that was a thing until recently. And it completely and accurately describes my everyday eating habits. Even if I have like an actual meal while I'm cooking, I'm snacking. And then by the time the meal actually comes along, I'm either starving because I didn't snack or I'm full because I did. So I have one day in here that I just had fruit for dinner. I don't know why. Maybe I had a big fruit bowl. That would completely be me just to make like a monster sized fruit salad and then have that for dinner. Um, it's interesting. I actually got one. Of, I actually got a, words. I actually got a comment about asking about the ten thousand steps, and uh, they're saying that this the person who commented said, was saying that they get it from they get their ten thousand steps from like work and stuff, and from not having a car. I live in an area where it's not walkable. You literally cannot walk anywhere from where I live. It's like two and a half miles to the closest convenience store from where I live because I live on base. And as much as base offers a large amount of security, it also means that walking is not possible, which kind of sucks because I like walking and don't do it very much. I need to get better at it. I also have a job where I'm standing and running around but I don't do, I don't run long distances. It's just from the car to the door, to the car, to the door and back again. Um, so I don't know. 
Uh, so dinners this week were a chicken bowl, fruit. I don't know what that means. I didn't write down anything more than fruit. Um, tacos. I didn't write anything down for Thursday and Friday. I'm sure I ate something, but I have no idea what I ate. We went to the Bite of Seattle on Saturday, and then we had sandwiches on Sunday. Sandwiches are my go-to. Okay, here we go. So I had just skipped three days. Awesome. Just to give you a brief rundown of what happened on the days that you missed, because I'm an idiot. On Tuesday, I had uh, a shift canceled. So right around Prime Day, Amazon started canceling all of our shifts because they um, had too many drivers and not enough packages. And we literally didn't have packages for several days. So my Tuesday shift got canceled. Um, then we had a gym day where I did 40 minutes of weights and then we did a mile and a quarter walk. And then I finished tomorrow, tomorrow and tomorrow, which I, unpopular opinion, did not care for. I think I gave it three stars. I'm not sure if it deserves three stars, but I felt guilty about giving it anything less. So it has three stars. Um, Wednesday, another shift of mine got canceled. We also went to Dutch Bros for tea or coffee. I don't know which one. It just says Dutch Bros on my thing. Um, we went on a grocery run to Winko. Um, we also went to Barnes and Noble. Pat had work for some reason. His shift did not get canceled, so he actually got to work. Uh, I also did some YouTube. I did uh, some editing on my vlog and on an unboxing. Um, and then I finished it out by finishing Night of Cake and Puppets for my nightly read. On Wednesday, or Thursday, that was Wednesday, on Thursday, um, what you've missed so far is that I got a bunch of happy mail. I wrote down HC next to the happy mail, but I literally have no idea what that means. So maybe I should take better notes during my weeks. Um, I also had... I wrote down that Pat had duty that day, but I didn't write it down on my actual list because I ran out of room. And then I wrote down that we had a gym day. I did five minutes on the elliptical and then 30 minutes of weights. And then I had therapy. Um, therapy has since not happening because my therapist moved. I haven't gotten a new one yet. I need to message some more people. I messaged one that I liked a lot and didn't hear back. So I need to message more than one person. Um, and then I was actually able to work for three hours um, on Thursday, which was nice. On Friday, we didn't have a lot going on. We ended up having just this one long day out. We went up to Fort Warden. Uh, we had this little lunch slash dinner thing up there, which is what we had for dinner that day. I wonder why I didn't put that in. But we had this little meal, this little cafe, and we had ice cream. It was nice. And then we went up to Fort Warden, and I have an entire vlog on the channel about it. So if you're curious what how Fort Warden went, I really have an entire um, vlog on it. And the puppy absolutely adored his day. He had, like, the bestest day in the whole wide world because he got to run and play all day long. Um, and then Pat started his leave this day. So he had gotten home from deployment about a month prior, the very beginning of July. This is the end of July. So yeah, so it was a couple of weeks prior. He says he was home for six weeks, but I really don't think he was home that long. Um, but he started his leave. So we had two weeks of just hubby time, uh, which was nice. It was nice to be able to have some time with Pat before he left again, which is where he's na at now. He's floating around in the ocean again. Uh, Friday, um, I don't know what I wrote. I wrote, oh, it was the outlet. <laughs> um, so we went shopping uh, because we had like this entire weekend that we were like out and about and doing stuff and trying to have fun. So we took the ferry from our side, from our peninsula over to the Seattle side. And we went up to the outlet mall that we have up north and went to the Disney store and spent entirely too much money on cheap clothes at the Disney store. And of course, everything they had was either way too big or way too small. And we opted for the way too big. So we all have sweats that are, are enormous and that you can literally swim in. But they're so soft and comfy. And they're so cute. So we spent entirely too much money at the outlet store before we headed down to the Bite of Seattle. 
the Bite of Seattle is a festival that we have. Um, we had it yearly here. I guess this was the first one that they've had since COVID uh, closed everything down. And it was nice. It was really, really crowded. And they made you work off of an app instead of being able to go up and actually buy things from the vendors, which turned out to be a negative for both the um, consumers and the vendors because they didn't get tipped the same way they normally would. They got less money than they normally would because the app and the bite themselves took a huge chunk of money. Plus they had to pay to be there. It was just a crab shoot for a lot of people and the lines were incredibly long. Um, but it was kind of fun. We walked around, listened to some music. We had some food to eat. And then we um, sat down by the fountain and just kind of relaxed for a little while. I wanted an Italian shaved ice so badly. And I even bought one. We couldn't find the vendor. We don't know what happened. We looked everywhere for the vendor. We even asked for directions. And we were never able to find the vendor for the, for the, the shaved ice. So we ended up having to go to... Um, one of the help desk areas right as they were closing and get a refund for my, my shaved ice because we were never able to find it. Um, and they ended up like pointing us in these weird directions and we found the normal snow cone place that's always there, but they're not affiliated with the bite. And so I'm just like, where are you sending us? Because nobody seemed to know what they were doing, which was a darn shame because I like shaved ice and I haven't had it in ages. Living in Hawaii, not living in Hawaii, living in Guam, really, um, <laughs> my cat is meowing again because somebody fed her water from the sink. Now she's being a prima donna and wants more water from the sink. Anyways, um, I don't remember what I was saying again. Something about the shaved ice. Uh, yeah, living in, uh, Guam really, you know made me makes me sad that I can't have it anymore because they had they have Italian or Hawaiian shaved ice there all the time and we would go like once a month to get it I haven't had it in years now all right so Friday um I had another work shift canceled this is why we have no shifts right now is because there were so many that got canceled Elise had an interview and got the job she now works at Lowe's um while she was in having her interview we were in shopping because um what was should be the next week which is the end of the month we cleaned my entire garage out we spent days doing it but that's not the one you're gonna see next the one you're gonna see next is the week that we're supposed to be on right now because I messed up and I still want to show that week off um and then towards the end of the night, Pat had two shifts. He had one that was canceled and one that he actually was able to go on. And it was a literal full shift, which was nice. Um, but I, for some reason, I don't know what it is. I have noticed that I am getting more and more car sick these days, which makes me extremely sad because sitting in a car with my husband while he works makes me nauseous. I don't know if it's his driving or if it's um, just the fact that I haven't been passenger in a while, but I've been teaching my kids how to drive and my kids drive really well. My husband does not. And I don't know if it's what it is, but I've, I spent more time telling him if my child did this driving, I would be so angry at them or so scared right now. And he's like, whoops, my bad. So um, I spent the rest of the night feeling like crap because he drives like a maniac. So, um, that's the whole week. I'm sorry for the abbreviated version. I will do my best to be better next week. And I will also, um, do the week that we missed next week. So they're going to be in reverse order this week. And I apologize for that ahead of time or in the meantime. Um, but after that, hopefully I'll get back on schedule and not be a moron. Um, so I was just putting down the weekend banner and sorting everything so that way I could do my closing out, which is coming up here in just a moment. And I hope you enjoyed my abbreviated version of a plan with me. And here I actually showed you the whole thing because I knew I messed up. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay guys, so that is the end of this week's plan with me. I hope I said something interesting, but we never know at this point in time. 
Um, I have the little scribblers extra still left untouched. Then we also have um, a couple of little boxes left. Some of the headers left. Same here. This whole page is pretty much untouched except for the weekend banner. Uh, this one is mostly used. I don't tend to use a lot of these extra ones. I do like those ones, but she doesn't even have those ones anymore. So this one's probably just going to go. I have a few glitters left. One of my fashion girls is left. Box here, which will be easy to use in my other planner. Same, another box. And then all of the... Um, you know, full check boxes that I almost never use. All right, and then since there wasn't a lot of glitter left, all I have left is some of the little header overlays, some little, little boxes that you can put on the corners. I don't, I forget to, to even use those half the time. And then these will go in the pile of stuff to use later. Um, again, also didn't use any of those. So that is it for this week's plan with me, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.